Um, in 2020's Road to PS5 conference, Mark Cerny suggested game fidelity and polygon counts could be drastically improved by using the SSD to draw textures and models to the user's viewport in sub-second time. Uh, while I agree the SSD has been amazing for loading times, we've not yet seen any games utilize this concept to the level suggested. Do you think there's any weight to what Surly was saying, or was this always just going to be a theoretical mm. use case to get the user mm. and media excited? Um, I just want to, before I go to you guys, I just want to preface this by saying uh, Mark Surly doesn't really do hype. He's an engineer, you know, an engineer's talk, you know about what they're doing and what they want to achieve. It's down to the developers to actually use those features though, but we can assume that, you know, Mark Sony did the maths <laughs> and figured out that this was viable and he built the yeah. system for that use. The question is when we're gonna see it. John, any thoughts? I've always interpreted this more as uh, the speed of access allows, would allow developers to use higher density, more complex meshes with more robust materials and textures all over the place because they can actually fetch that and get it into memory faster, right? And I would actually argue that Ratchet is a little bit of an example of that in that you could you could duplicate the the opening scene of Ratchet with the uh, multi-portal jump on slower hardware. I think you could do that on PlayStation 2. John Burton from Traveler's Tales even said as much. They did similar stuff in the past. What makes it impressive in that case is the sheer density and volume of objects like the the actual meshes they use all the data that's loaded from those different scenes it's really complex and there's a lot of geometry in there and just it's it's super impressive and i think the storage access speeds is specifically what allows them to do that they're just moving a lot of data really fast and that's the mm -hmm. key right and so that does then allow for more complex visuals i would i would argue because mm -hmm. a lot of times you know, older systems like on PS4 generation, you might be able to do more detail in a scene, but it has to also be balanced to access it from the slow mechanical hard drive, get it into the slower memory. And, and uh, there's other bottlenecks as well, of course, but you know, uh, I feel like that's probably more what, what he was talking about to some degree. I think he built a system that's designed to do these things and it's down to developers to, yeah. to actually deploy those yeah. concepts. You know, Sony does provide proof of concept demos. I'm pretty sure uh, that's how they get take up of these features in the first place. The question is whether, you know, if we're talking about a game engine that's streaming in uh, new fidelity, you know, new assets on a per frame basis, which is what I think is being suggested here, that requires a game engine to be built fundamentally yeah. from the ground up to support that feature and to and you know it's a paradigm shift which possibly we haven't seen yet right but maybe we'll see it further on in this generation